Looks good. It looks different. Different's good. Not in my book. Oh, Thank you. Hey, welcome to the new dawn. Have you seen this place? Uh, we've got a, a CT scanner, right? Uh, a triage room, a brand new recess. I don't know where to start. Coffee. Doesn't like change. It's a it does. Hey, you know, I just can't see those two together. <laughs> Obviously, neither could they. Oh. Musical differences? The uh, staff are talking about us. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're gossiping about us, about our marriage. Well, that's to be expected. How is it to be expected? Two doctors working together in the same ED and we just forget to mention that we're husband and wife. We chose not to mention it. Yeah. And that's not weird. Up here, Take you alive, then. Looks that way, yes. The paramedics have requested a doc. They need blood. Mr. Jordan thought you might be interested. Absolutely. Yeah. This is completely unacceptable. Did you do this? I don't know what you're on about. What is it? Inexplicably, this was pinned to the staff room wall. Things people find on the internet, eh? OK, let's do this, shall we? Sam and I were married, and now we are separated, OK? Well, that's a shame, because you look really happy on that. Well, contrary to popular belief, the camera does lie. For the most part of our marriage, we were miserable, as I'm sure Dr... Dr Nichols would agree, wouldn't you, Dr Nichols? This is Control. Please be advised, their ambulance is en route. GCS was 13, sats of 97, he's had 10 on morphine. Jeff managed to get a line in. GCS was... Yeah, we were told to stand clear of the vehicle. Well, when can we get back in there? Well, thanks, but who the hell are you? Sam Nichols, obviously the ED. He's bleeding out, he needs a blood transfusion, or he's in real trouble. I'd say he's already in trouble. Look, I know what I'm doing, and I can work with your team. You want to work with us? Stand there and do your job. Boss! Boss! We're losing him! Hey! Hey! You're not going near that vehicle! Okay. Stay with us, mate. Let's get another line in. I said clear the vehicle. Okay, I'm going to push through some more of this O positive. Quite positive. Here we go, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you get on with cutting him out, please? Yeah, yeah. Jeffrey? Okay. Just to do, let him bleed to death. Better than getting killed yourself. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not. But this my crew has to get you out. And that puts them at risk, which puts me in a living room tonight, comforting a grieving wife. OK, guys, we're going to stay here, check on the transit driver. They haven't been able to move him yet. OK, okay. good luck. Look, I'm here to keep people alive. That's it. So why don't you go in direct traffic, shout at trees, whatever, and let me do my job. Oh, oh, we're finished, are we? Yeah. That's not good. Get on the radio. Large explosion at the Southern Estate. What the hell Let was you know that? Let you know when you get down there. What do you think you're doing? Coming with you! That's not happening. Go the car, man. Well, I'm in now. Let's go. We did well this morning, considering. They talk it up, you know. Who does? Paramedics tend to exaggerate. I'll try to remember that. Sam's a big girl. She won't take any unnecessary risks. Actually, that's exactly what she'll do. It's got to be gas. In your professional opinion? I've seen explosions before. Firework display, was it? Afghanistan. Medical corps. And you're not supposed to follow orders. Get away! Well, it depends who's giving them. It's a shared car. So, not yours? Never seen it before. Oh, what well, if I keep it then? You really are a cock, you Bloody Multiple casualties in flash fire. Make pump four and water carrier one available. Roving. Right. 
Are you okay? Need to get him out of here. I need to get everyone out of here. Can you try and keep still for me, please? About that little speech you made on the road. Yeah, sorry about that. Got a bit carried away. I'll have you know, I have never ever shouted at a tree. Okay, Sam, what we got? This is Graham Beale. Looks like blunt force trauma to the chest area. Hey, Graham, how you doing, mate? Please. <laughs> He's got burns to the hands and face, taking a lot of smoke. Pain relief. I'll just give him five milligrams. You're gonna have to give him some more, okay? Got him? Yeah, but I'll tell the others. Okay, I'll go. That's injuries and flash burns. Breathing's compromised, he's taking a lot of smoke. It looks like you've taken some yourself. I think I can't handle. You want to come with us? No, I'm going to stay. Not sure, we can swap. Thanks for the offer. No, thank you. He just doesn't want to go back up there again. Scared of flying. <laughs> Welcome one of five a safe model. She's pretty, she's a doctor and she knows the helicopters. Marry me. All right, we've got it under control. What is that? Us. <laughs> Get everyone clear! No! Move Get back! everybody out! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Please move back! All the way! Police station, we need a chemical unit and plasma. As soon as it gets there, get two bodies into GTSs and get them in there and find out where that stuff is. What about evacuating? Get onto the police. Keats Drive is the hot zone. Everybody in the two surrounding streets comes out. The rest stay indoors. Go. I need to meet everybody to the car park on South Road. Yeah, get me some extra bodies down here. I need the help. I can give you two bodies, but if that cloud gets any closer, you run. Understand? Fine, whatever. Not whatever. You run. I need these two people moved up here, put down here. Can cause coughing, choking, skin burns, eye damage, and in severe cases, even death. At the moment, we're being told weather conditions are favourable. Everyone stay inside! Everyone stay inside! Has anyone seen Dr. Nichols? Yeah, just at the scene. Or the carriageway? No, just Silverton now. Poor breath sounds, left side diminished. Any pain anywhere? Dylan, she probably just got swept up in a ball. You know what it's like, you're on the scene. You think this is exactly what our marriage was like? I would say or do something wrong, and rather than argue or sulk, she would act recklessly. Put herself in danger simply so that she could see me sweat. She knows you didn't mean it. Excuse me, excuse me, can you help us? Help me, please. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. You're gonna have to help me. Oh. 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 Keep clean film on those burns, keep pushing the fluids. Oh yeah, that's definitely 40%. Burns unit admission, please, Dr. Keogh. The patient's got breathing difficulties, sats of 90%. Dixie, sorry darling, there's no space. No, no, it's fine. Pop him over there, please, Dixie, and we'll move him when we can. Okay, he's got possible inhalation burns and some superficial burns around his mouth. Okay, another line in, please, Jeff, and let's give him some more Hello. oxygen. Right, listen up, people, as soon as your patient's stable, let's move him out. We get these gases up to ITU's machine. I'm not happy with the railway. All right, Mrs. Herbert. Okay, all right, open your mouth for me, please. That's it, I know it's sore. Good. A little bit more. Yeah, looking at upper airway edema there, Charlie. Going to need to RSI. All right, let's get her under. No! <laughs> Can you help me? Come on, come on, help me! What's wrong with you people? What is that, Lord Carpa? Hey! 
Hold on, hold on. Take it easy. You need to get the suits down here. Anyone who's got suits on us in the far side of the estate. Let go of them. Let's, let's. Hold them now. Go to the car. Tell them we need help up here. Don't be stupid. Roston! John, come back! Radio ahead and tell them he's coming in. John? Okay, keep pushing the stay line. Irrigate the burns and add the morphine if he needs it. I don't want him in any pain. I want to go with him. There's not enough fuel for an extra passenger. Uh, I'm going, I'm going. Thanks, thanks. Okay, let's go, let's go. What do you think he was doing? Not sure. Oh. Yeah? Well, oh. that puts oh. me in a relative's room comforting a grieving wife. Separated. Snap. What's she look like? Oh, sweet. Brilliant. Infuriating. How about you? Sam's on her way back. She's safe. Good to know. Uh, there wasn't the opportunity to tell you about Sam. I mean... It's OK. Actually, that's why there were plenty of opportunities. I just didn't. Dylan, it's OK. This is John Marston. You got caught in the vapouring collapse. Lungs took the hit. A lot of skin burns. Straight through, please. Over there. No, 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 not you, Sam. What? No, we'll handle this. No, but look, we were together all the way through this. I know That's him. That's why I... you need to step back. Yeah, but he's going to want me in Look there. at yourself. You're exhausted. You're running on empty. We will deal with it. Please. Go and get yourself checked out. What's his status? He's ventilated. 15% uh, burns, GCS 13, BP 108 over 50. Pretty bad then. Yeah, pretty bad. I wasn't always miserable. Mum just wanted to say goodbye. Mr. Barr, wait! I told you not to let him in! You deliberately defied me! Yes, I did. Why? It was in the best interest of my patient. She needed closure. Now, I don't know who you think you are, but we've all had a very hard day. And that's why I think you should go nice and quiet. And calm. Down. 